Sportages. Sport gets smarter. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Sportages Cast, where we bring you insights into the sporting world straight from athletes. Sports biz, sports professionals, and more. As you know, the Sportages cast is now available on video and audio, so you can listen in or watch in however you may like. Today, our guest is Inji Ali, the first certified female paddle coach in Egypt. She's also a pro squash coach and a former squash player, so she's got all the experience in racket sports.、Uh, and this is going to be an awesome conversation. Welcome to the show, Inji. Thank you. Thank you. For- Look, let's get straight into it.、Um, you know, you've played squash, obviously.、Uh, when we spoke before, you told me that, you know, you've also played tennis and you play padel as well. You're the first certified、uh, female certified coach from Egypt.、Uh, tell me the story. How has this, how has this happened? Because it's really interesting. Like, yeah, a mix. <laughs> so, yeah, I started、uh, playing squash, was the first thing when I was about eight years in Egypt. And、um, this is my main sport. I started、um, uh, being trained a lot. I've been in tournaments,、um, I've been number four in Egypt and taking third place in most of the national tournaments in Egypt. And that's what I grew、um, playing. And then I got a scholarship for,、um, as an exchange student in the US、um, during my high school.、Yeah. So, and we don't choose like, the state or anything, the program chooses everything for us. So, I was just,、um, I got a state, South Dakota, Rapid City, where there was no squash there, no squash team, no coaches, nothing. So, that's the year.、Um, Tennis is more common in the US. So that's、yeah. the year I didn't want to stop sports because I'm always like, I'm used to play and I just wanted anything with racket, you know?、Yeah. So I switched that year to,、uh, to play tennis. And I've been on the team and I,、uh, I've been in tournaments with the, with the high school I was in. And I took third place、uh, on the state. But I was、yeah. just playing it with the squash technique, actually. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe that's how I was winning, you know, slicing. And so, yeah, so that's how I just switched to tennis for a short period. And then when I went back after finishing this、um, exchange student year, when I back, went back to Egypt, I, I, I played back、um, squash again and been in tournaments again. And then, yeah, after that,、um, I start coaching. Yeah. And then just a few years ago, Padel、um, just appeared in Egypt and I kept he- hearing about it. It's a mix between squash and tennis. And I played both. So I was like, well, that's interesting. So I've been, I, I, I went to play it like I tried it. It was really so much fun. So like I was interested to go more into it. So. That's how it went squash, tennis, paddle. In,、yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> the mix I've made.、Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really interesting. So, you know, when you talk about、uh, difficulty levels of each game, respectively,、um, they say that, you know, tennis is easy to、uh, learn, hard to master. Squash is hard to learn. Easier to master. I don't know. I play squash, so、I've, I find it、uh, to be tougher than the other games. But, and then there's paddle, which is much more recreational,、uh, sort of social element to it. How do you rank them in terms of difficulty and why? Yes.、Um, tennis is much easier, and paddle is much easier than squash. So,、yeah. it can be like squash, paddle, tennis, with、uh, like. How tough it is.、Yeah. Squash needs like very high fitness. Paddle is played in doubles, although it still needs fitness, but I mean, it's much easier. You know, ball bounces easier, and your two players, it's, mo- it's mostly playing doubles, not single. Not like the US paddle. The, the, the paddle、um, we're、yeah. talking about, it's, yeah, it's only played in doubles. So, 
So paddle is much easier in tennis because um, it's also, you can play it for fun. You don't have to be like um, taking lessons or, you know, you can just have a family time playing it and you will be able to play. You'll, you'll be able to play the game. Squash, it's, it's tougher. The ball doesn't bounce. You need to learn more, learn yeah. how to, to, to master, you know, the shots and everything. So, yeah, um, squash is tougher. And, and that's the one I've been playing the most. So when you play squash, it's easier to switch to any of them, to either tennis or paddle. It feels easy after that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, yeah. you know, in Egypt, squash uh, is huge, dominated. Uh, yeah. Egypt dominates the game as well. And yeah. what I always find interesting is when squash players, even if they're, you know, playing at a semi-professional level, when they retire from playing squash, they often go and play tennis. So uh, <laughs> yeah. that's that's often the case. But at the moment, you know, you you mentioned you played tennis for a bit, but now... You're coaching in paddle, you're coaching in squash overall. Um, tell me a little bit about the key differences between both games because paddle, a lot of people don't know about it. Uh, but, of mm -hmm. course, it does have that mixture of tennis and squash uh, with the mm -hmm. walls and, and all of that. You mentioned the doubles, squash, a whole other literally ball game. So yeah. tell me, you know, what, what are some of the key differences? So, yeah, um, paddle is... Um, the, the court is like just like tennis, but a little smaller in the size, and it has glass wall behind. So that's the mix it takes from. So the, 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 the court, it takes the court from the tennis, and the glass wall is what it takes from the squash. That's the only thing it takes from the squash, actually. Yeah. That the ball goes, can go to the glass wall and go back. So in coaching it, uh, the thing that I can take from, like, the thing that is common from squash, the glass wall, which is helping because I'm used to this, and it's just like tennis, you know, playing yeah. in front of each other, like um, doubles. So coaching it, like, also still coaching paddle is, um, although I'm not really professional also in paddle because I didn't play that, like, long like squash yeah but yeah i've been trying to train a lot i've been um having this certificate uh from um argentine um uh, paddle coach when he came to egypt to give me the full course to be able to teach the kids right you know because yeah, yeah i didn't play it to a professional level so so Coaching it, I thought it it will be like um, harder as a, it's a, a new sport for me. You know, when you yeah. teach, you have to know. It's not like playing for fun. You have to know all the details, all the techniques, and you know. And it's it's different from squash. It has different shots, totally different shots. Yeah. It's yeah, so. In squash, the um, this is for paddle. In coaching squash, it's actually um, growing, playing it for like over twenty years. You're just like coaching it for me. It's uh, it's very easier and knowing every yeah. little detail with every because I've been grown up like being coached with the best coaches in the world. So, so you, you remember everything you've been told, you've been, I've gained all the experience, all the, you know, the info that can be said with this whole coaches I've been coached by. So I have, you know, it's for me, squash coaching, it is much easier, although squash is tougher game, yeah. but coaching it is much easier because you have, all the info you can, you know, and you're still learning every day, of course. But I mean, like, being coached in um, in squash for over all these years with the best coaches, it's just, like, it's easier to, to give what you have been learned, you know. 
So yeah. that's what I'm trying to give back to the kids like I, I was given before. Sure, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Like there's, there's no better feeling than when you get a cross court, when you hit a cross court nick, right? <laughs> <laughs> my favorite shots is, yeah, drop shots. Yeah. Right, That's my right. my favorite shots yeah. in, yeah. <laughs> in um, squash. And, yeah. And here's and a... Yeah, sorry, no, go on. Always, yeah. Oh, no. Sorry. When I'm teaching all the kids, like, in the you know in the younger level you don't usually teach uh, still this professional drop shots and stuff yeah but because it's my favorite shot so i start like teaching little and i and they're <laughs> doing good and i tell them this is my favorite shot you have to master it <laughs> so yeah <laughs> there's there's always a preference absolutely and <laughs> speaking of preferences this might be a uh this might this will be an interesting question that i thought of um, do you have a preference, squash, paddle? I know that you've played squash all your life, uh, yeah. paddle, relatively new. Um, I would think I know where it's going, but I thought I, th I think I'll ask you. Yeah. That's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's not that I have preference. Actually, it's um, like, as I told you, squash, I'm um, coaching it. It's um, like you can say I'm so more professional in it. Not, I'm, I'm still actually not mastering uh, to, to like I can't um, coach paddle professionally. Yeah. But for levels, you know, one and two, I can. So um, but paddle, it's just so I found it so fun and it's really growing fast in the world. So that's what it's also um, making me interested to 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 coach it and to go more into it because it's one of the most growing sports in the world now. Yeah. Yeah, and and it's been growing faster every year in Egypt too. So and all over the world in U.S. and every everywhere. So so that's the mix, you know. So it's not really preference, but. Each yeah. one has its, you know, sure. It's yeah, it's it's uh, interesting thing that makes me uh, want to go more in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, you 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 talk about uh, the growth of the sport. Obviously, we've seen that it's now the fastest growing sport in Europe, South America. You mentioned Egypt. What is the game like there? Because obviously, that's where you got your certification from, where you started playing. How much has the game grown? Obviously, when it comes to racket sports in Egypt, it's all about squash. So what's yeah. it like for, for paddle over there? Yeah, well, paddle is, um, I think what it's helping it grow that fast, maybe that people see how professional we're getting in squash and how big it is. So I think because last like year and a half, paddle has been growing like maybe triple before it's, mm -hmm. it's been going really fast like before um two years ago we used to have only like really few courts you can like count maybe seven courts maximum now it's yeah. over 20 courts in egypt and it's getting right. more and more and and the plan for this year it's a lot more so growing more and having lots of kids um Parents are are interesting to to let their kid join, although it's really new sport. The federation yep. was just made few years, a uh, few sorry, few months ago, and there was no federation for the sport before in Egypt. So yep. parents being interested to put their kids in sport, just new, just new federation, and you know, and it's even the federation, it's still a mix between the squash and paddle, you know, it's, it doesn't have its own federation yet. Right. So, and still parents are interested to put their kids to learn it and kids are really like enjoying, you know, seeing a new sport, new shapes of rackets that you didn't see before because it has different rackets than, um, than the tennis and then the squash, than the shape mm -hmm. they knew about different, you know, colors. So kids are really interested uh, to learn it. Even uh, families, they play it for fun. So it's really getting, um, growing really fast now in Egypt. 
and there's lots of tournaments, just like tournaments um, by the clubs itself, you know, by the academies itself, not really like, um, didn't start yet to be with points and more, you know, professional, but at least, you know, it's a good start to have. And yeah, and even we hosted one of um, like top players in Egypt by the pyramids and this like, this was really a good marketing also for it in Egypt. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I think it will it, like it is already like booming, and I think it will keep going, um, growing really fast. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I mean, I think I think it's it's happening in the wider sort of Middle East, North African areas as well. Like I've seen in the UAE. Uh, it, yeah. You know, I was speaking to my friend the other day and he's like, oh, I'm going to play paddle. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah so. I've been there and uh, yeah, and it was really easy to, to find the court and to just go. And and, and the fun thing that you, because I, I, I was there for a vacation, so yeah. I didn't have like um, players, to, I, I didn't know anyone there to play with. And I just, um, when you, the best thing is when you call, they can set um, like players together, even when you don't know them. It's either in Egypt, Dubai, everywhere, you can set with players that you don't know, the academies or the, the app or whatever, you can set this up and you just go play, have fun with people and, you know, you, you know more people and, so it's really sociable too, yeah. It's easy to, to go because you need, you know, another three players to play with and you don't yeah. know someone. So they're making it really easy to, to just go and play and have fun. And yeah, maybe that's also a point of why it's really growing uh, also faster, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think the doubles aspect is a key reason for that uh, social you know, the social side of that game. I think it's really, really yes. interesting and uh, makes sense as to why it's it's growing so fast. Yeah. Um, Inji, before we sort of wrap up, I did want to ask what do you sort of, what are you working towards with regards to Paddle? Um, you're obviously in the US now. Uh, what are sort of your focuses in the sport for the future in the near term and also the long term? So, yeah, um, Paddle is not, like, in U.S., it's growing, but not as fast for now. So, um, really few states that has it. And I wish it just, like, I can't find um, in the states where I'm going, there is no Paddle courts at all. <clears throat> so, yeah. yeah, it's not that you can't find players, you can't find a, a court, actually. <laughs> so I really wish it goes really um, grow faster. And I wish I can help in this to, to make it grow faster here as it's growing in back in my home country in Egypt. And as I'm seeing it growing all over uh, the world. And especially that here in the US, they have the pickleball and paddle tennis yeah. which is kind of similar yeah. it's 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 a bit different in rules but i mean like they have already the 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 kind of game you know so this can help a lot i think it's a good uh, uh, thing because it, it can help a lot in growing the game so i really wish to 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 be in this to to you know, to to have it in all the states, to 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 introduce it to everyone to know, it because not, there's still a lot of people don't know about it. When you talk about it yeah. in the U.S., they think about the yeah, yeah, we do have uh, paddle uh, tennis. So, and I went yeah. to see, you know, no, it's not this one; it's different. You know, <laughs> other one has glass wall behind, and you know, it's not fans, and so even to pe for people to know about it because it's still a lot of people do not even know about it so yeah that's that's um what i uh, wish for and um to coach in it to have more courts and to to to, to just keep growing the sports paddle squash 
even squash in the US, you know, yeah. just to keep growing both sports uh, all over the world, you know. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. I think yeah. uh, one of the biggest challenges would be pickleball because I know that's growing really fast in in the US in and Canada. US. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would just you know paddle and squash to be as famous as you know when you tell someone football, the the you know yeah just either American football or the, the other foot the normal football soccer. Yeah. So yeah. I just wish you know. Um, you know, some still people do not know squash in the U.S. Like, yeah. So that's how I wish it. Just when you say squash or paddle, people know the difference. People know what it is and all over the world. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look, that's fantastic. I think that in the U.S., one of the issues is uh, racquetball because that's what they've sort of played. Yes. So they might know racquetball, but not squash, when I right? Want to, yeah. When I want to say squash and they don't know, so I say it's similar to racquetball. When I want to say paddle, they don't know, so I say it's similar to pickleball. So I yeah. just wish <laughs> the day that comes, you know, that you don't say it's similar. You just say the word and people know it, you know. It's just like squash, paddle, the 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 ask oh which paddle you mean paddle tennis or the Spanish paddle you know yeah. I wish you know it's just like known all over <laughs> so yeah absolutely absolutely well look uh, Inji it's been an absolute pleasure having you on and it was great sort of hearing your insights uh, to everyone watching or listening be sure to go and follow and get in touch with Inji if you think there's some way that you can work together or you even uh, just want to see what, what she's up to. So we'll have the social media links in the description or the caption wherever you're watching or listening. Inji, once again, thanks a lot. Thank Great to hear so from you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.